Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging question from algebraic equations. Here we have x square plus 5x minus 2 whole square over 7x square plus 5x minus 2 equal to x square. We have to find out real solutions, real x values. So let's get started by writing method number 1 because I am going to show two different styles to solve this problem. Let me write method number 1 and I will begin by writing domain of the equation. Denominator cannot be 0. So I can write 7x square plus 5x minus 2 can't be 0. x will be equal to not equal to minus b. Let's apply Shridharachar formula plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac over 2a 14 a is 7 cannot be equal to minus 5 plus minus this is root 81 so 9 over 14 if i will consider plus sign in between then 4 over 14 2 over 7 once i will consider minus sign then minus 14 over 14 minus 1 so these two values we will exempt one solution would be in the term of 2 over 7 or minus 1. So these values are exempted values. Now as it is non-zero, so I can take the cross multiplication. So I will write x square plus 5x minus 2 whole square equal to x square times 7x square plus 5x minus 2. Now I will use substitution. So let us consider 5x minus 2. See it is here and available right hand side also. So let me call this is u. So let us consider 5x minus 2 equal to u. See how equation will change. x square plus u whole square equal to x square times 7x square plus u. Now I will expand using algebraic identity. So I can write equation directly. See it will give us x power 4 plus u square plus 2ab term will give us 2x square u. Right hand side it would be 7x power 4 plus ux square. Take all the term to RHS or take all the term to the LHS. So I can consider towards RHS. Then equation will form u square it would be with minus sign. I am converting it. u square plus x square u minus 6x power 4 equal to 0. See this is quadratic in u. It was quartic in x but this is quadratic in u. So I will solve this quadratic equation using quadratic formula which is quadratic in u. And remember what is our u? That is 5x minus 2. We will put this value back once we will solve it. So let's solve it. I will write that equation first u square plus x square u minus 6x power 4 equal to 0 and remember 5x minus 2 equal to u. Let's apply formula Sridharachar formula u equal to minus b. So minus x square plus minus under the root b square so x power 4 b is x square so whole square x power 4 minus 4ac so plus 24 x power 4 divided by 2a so 2 minus x square plus minus this is square root 25 x power 4 divided by 2 which will give us minus x square plus minus 5x square over 2. Once I will consider plus sign, it will become 4x square over 2. So 2x square. And once I will consider minus sign, then minus 6x square over 2 minus 3x square. Remember our substitution, which was 5x minus 2. So now I can frame easily two equations. Let me write here. 5x minus 2 equal to 2x square and minus 3x square. So once I will equate 
let me write 5x minus 2 equal to 2x square and 5x minus 2 equal to minus 3x square. So, two quadratic equations we can frame. Take all the term to RHS. So, I will write 2x square minus 5x plus 2 equal to 0. And from second equation, this equation, I will take minus 3x square to the left. So, 3x square plus 5x minus 2 equal to 0. So, two quadratic equation, we will solve one by one. So, let me consider the very first equation. Let's apply quadratic formula. Minus b, 5 plus minus under the root b square, 25 minus 4ac. So, minus 16 over 2a. So, 4. 5 plus minus square root 9. So, 3 over 4. 5 plus 3, 8 over 4. 5 minus 3, 2 over 4. So, from this equation, we are getting two real solutions, 2 and half. Done. Now, come to the second quadratic equation. Let us apply again quadratic formula, Sridharachar formula, minus b plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac. So, plus 24 this time. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. Minus times minus becomes plus. Over 2a. So, 6. So, next step minus 5 plus minus it is square root 49 which will be 7 over 6. Once you will consider plus sign in between 7 minus 5 2 over 6. So, 1 over 3 and minus sign then minus 12 over 6 minus 2. So, here we are having all four real solutions to this equation and you can cross verify it is neither of the exempted list solution minus 1 and 2 over 7. Okay. So, this is our solutions for the equation. Now, method number 2, conventional 1. I will be begin this method by writing one identity which is a plus b plus c whole square. It is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. So, I will write our equation first in the cross multiplication order. So, I can write this one as x square plus 5x minus 2 whole square equal to x square times 7x square plus 5x minus 2. Done. Now expand using this identity algebraic formula LHS we have. So let me write here x power 4 plus 25x square a square plus b square is done. c square is 4 2ab. So it would be 10x cube 2bc minus 20x 2ca minus 4x square right hand side 7x power 4 plus 5x cube minus 2x square. Once you will simplify, we will get one quartic equation and we will solve that equation using SDM, synthetic division method, conventional one. So, it is coming out 6x power 4 minus 5x cube minus 23x square plus 20x minus 4 equal to 0. This is the quartic equation which we will solve for real solutions. So, let us find out eligible factors using rational root theorem. So, we know that the constant coefficient is 4. So, I can write plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4. Leading coefficient if you will see it is plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, plus minus 6. So, we have to take the ratio of constant to leading coefficient term to find out the eligible root of this quartic equation. So, if I will put only x is equal to 2 as per our list. So, I can write 6 times 2 power 4. So, 16 minus 5 times 2 cube 8 
minus 23 times 4, 20 into 2, 40 minus 4. If you will check the value, then it is coming out 96 minus 40 minus 92 plus 40 minus 4. So it is balancing our equation. Every term will get cancelled out. So this is coming out 0. That means x is equal to 2 is our base solution. Now we will use synthetic division method. So we have to write all the coefficients of quartic equation first. Let me write here 6 minus 5 minus 23 20 and negative 4. And remember base solution was x is equal to 2. Put one line over there. Let me write here SDM synthetic division method. Leading coefficient or term as it is 6. 2 times 6, 12. 7. Now 2 times 7, so 14. I will write minus 9, minus 18, 2, 2 times 2, 4, 0. Here we are having coefficients for cubic equation. Let me write that equation 6x cube plus 7x square minus 7, 9x plus 2 equal to 0. Done. Again, I will put quickly x is equal to minus 2. Using rational root theorem, you can find out. And once I will put this value, then I will write 6 times minus 8 plus 7 times 4 minus 9 times minus 2 plus 2. Check whether it is 0 or not. So it is minus 48 plus 28 plus 18 plus 2. So 28 plus 20, 48. This is 48 minus 48, 0. That means x is equal to minus 2 is second base solution for this cubic equation. Okay. Now I will use again synthetic division method. So let me write all the coefficients 6, 7, minus 9 and 2. Let us write and then we will apply synthetic division method once again for this one base solution. So let me write leading coefficient as it is 6. Done. Now 6 times 2, negative 2, minus 12, minus 5. Minus 5 times minus 2, 10, 1. Minus 2 times 1, minus 2, 0. Here we are having coefficients for quadratic, quadratic polynomial degree 2 equation. So let me write equation here. 6x square minus 5x plus 1 equal to 0. So, so far we have two solutions plus minus 2. See this one is our second base solution. So, let me write here x is equal to plus minus 2. Plus 2 was the first base solution. Now, we have to solve this quadratic equation. So, let's solve it. 6x square minus 5x plus 1 equal to 0. x equal to Shridharachar formula minus b. 5 plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac over 2a. So 12. 5 plus minus 1 square root 1 is 1 over 12. So I will write with plus sign 6 over 12. With minus sign 4 over 12. 5 minus 1 is 4. So I can write 1 over 2 and 1 over 3. So our solution from both the methods, if you will sum up or you will write, let me write here, x is equal to 2 minus 2 half and 1 over 3. You can verify all the values. I hope this video will be somewhere meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.